Welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at unit 7.2 arc length. Now arc length you've done before but this time we're going to do it with radians and using radians greatly simplifies the formula for arc length. So if I think about my circle and I have an angle here theta and these are both my radiuses and here's my arc length here. Now the formula for this arc length is simply r multiplied by theta where theta is in radians. Okay so very nice easy question to get started. Remember a formula L equals R theta, so R is 5 and theta is root 3, so 5 root 3 is my answer. However, I want it to three significant figures, which in this case is 8.66 centimetres. Second example, another straightforward one, remember L equals R theta, L is 15 in this case, r is 9 and then we have theta so theta is going to be 15 divided by 9 again to three significant figures this will give me 1.67 radians or 1.67 and you can write rad both are obviously perfectly acceptable okay the points A and B lie on the circumference of a circle with centre O and radius 8.5 centimetres. So first thing I want to do really is I do want to sketch this. The point C lies on the major arc AB. So if I set myself an A and a B, now, the minor arc is the small distance between A and B. The major arc is the larger distance between A and B. So in this case, C lies on the major arc. So I can put it somewhere between A and B on the larger arc. And A to C to B is 0 0.4 radians okay so that's my sketch done obviously I know that there's a radius here of 8.5 which is going to help me and I'm going to put a few little points in here so let's join A and B up to the center of the circle we know that those radiuses are 8.5 and we know that this is circle theorems now from year 11 or year 10 maybe, but GCSE or IGCSE. And what it states is that the angle in the centre here is twice the angle at the circumference. So I know that this angle now is 0 0.8. Okay, so with that in mind now I'm able to work out the minor arc of AB. So my formula is L equals R theta. You know I always go on about this. Always write down the formula because it helps you remember it. So every time you do it, just pop it in there. Now I'm just putting in what we know, a radius of 8.5 and an angle of 0 0.8. And then we get 6.8 centimeters now this wasn't a difficult question but the sketch or the diagram is what helps so drawing that first made this a lot easier and then you have to remember that all of your GCSE stroke IGCSE is assumed knowledge okay so you do need to know these circle theorem questions on the different rules of circle theorems
Okay, so in this one we have a minor arc AB. Join it up with roughly the centre of the circle there. It subtends at 3x. The major arc, so the major arc is this arc here. And that subtends at 9x. Find in terms of pi the length of the minor arc. So first things first, we've got 12x in total. And that's equal to 2 pi radians. So x equals 2 pi over 12 or pi by 6. The radius here is 20 centimeters. So now length equals r theta, the length of the arc. And r is 20 and theta, don't forget, is 3x. So that's 3 lots of pi by 6. And that leaves me with 10 pi centimetres. Common mistake there would be just to use the value of x as theta instead of 3x for the minor arc. Okay, so first things first, we know that this is 2 theta, which means that one half is theta and so is the other half. So they're both split up into thetas. Now, we want to find, in terms of capital R and little r, the length of O to C. Now, OB is large R. OT is also large R, because it's a large radius. Okay, so O to C is going to be large R minus small r. So if I look on this diagram, a little bit more room here, we've got OT is going to be the same as large R. We know that CT is going to be a small radius. And OC is going to be OT minus CT. So that's going to be R minus little r. And that's going to be my OC. And that's part A. Okay, part B. Looking at triangle OCE. O to C to E here. Show that. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to just put over this one in black. So we can see the triangle in full here. And this is going to be a right angle. Because if you remember... A radius will make a 90 degree angle with a tangent. Now we know that this OC here is R minus little r and we know that this is little r. Now sine theta as we can see there is sine thetas in here so in a triangle right angle triangle sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is going to be r over r minus little r. And then if I multiply by r minus r, we get r minus r sine theta equals r. Expand my brackets, r sine theta minus little r sine theta equals little r. Rearrange r sine theta equals r plus r sine theta. And then factorize out the r, we get 1 plus sine theta on the right, r sine theta there on the left. And this is what we were required to show. So part C, given that sine theta equals three quarters and that the perimeter of the sector OAB is 24 centimeters, find little r. So let's start at the top. So we've got r, and then instead of sine theta, let's put three quarters is equal to r one plus three quarters. So we've got three quarters 
larger is equal to 7 over 4 small r. And this can be, if we multiply through by 4, 3 capital R equals 7 small r. And that we're going to use in a moment. Now let's look at finding AB. So this is what we want to find here, AB. So if I think about it, it's going to be an arc length. So L equals R theta. Bit confusing. L is my AB. The radius is capital R. And theta as well, 2 theta. So we've got AB equals 2 theta times R. Now, don't forget, we know that sine theta equals 3 quarters. That means we can find out what theta is. So theta is roughly 8, 0 0.848, the three significant figures. So AB will be two lots of that times R. So 1 1.7, 1 1.70, capital R. Now I'm going to keep that full value in my calculator because the perimeter of this shape is going to be R plus R, two R's, the two radius here, OA and OB, plus this length AB, and that's going to be equal to 21. So that gives me R plus R plus 1.7R, so 3.7R equals 21. So R equals 21 divided by 3.7. Remember to use the full decimal answer though. So that gives me 5.684R. Now, if I go back up to my little r, I can see that if I divide by 7, so 3 sevenths capital R is equal to little r. So little r is going to be 3 sevenths times my 5.68, which is 2.43 centimetres. Okay, so we want to find the perimeter of this shape. So let's find the arc length AB first. So L equals R theta. R is 6. Theta is 2.2. So the length AB is 13.2. Nice, easy start. Now, I need to find the lengths AC and BC. Luckily, they're both equal, so I only have to find one of them. And looking at my triangles with a 6 and a 4, a 6 and a 4, and these two equal, the triangles are identical to each other. That means these two angles here will be the same size, and I'm going to call them theta. So I know that 2 theta plus 2.2 radians is going to be equal to 2 pi radians. So what I want to do now is take away the 2.2 and divide by 2. And that gives me 2.04 radians. Remember to store this number in your calculator. Now you can see I have two sides, an angle in between them, and I want to find the opposite side. So I've got three sides and this angle. So it's going to be the cosine rule. So the side AC squared, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to label these just to make them a little bit easier. So I'm just going to call them X, Y, and Z, just as A, B, and C is already used, and not to confuse things. And that would make this one a capital X. So what I've got now is X squared equals Y squared plus Z squared minus 2yz cos x. So in other words, that is 6 squared plus 4 squared, minus 2 times 6 times 4 times cos, and my value of theta, which is the 
zero four. So I can put it like that, or you can put your two point zero four in there. Just remember to use the full answer. So this is a b squared, and that gives me seventy three point seven seven. So a b is eight point five nine. Again, keep the full answer in the calculator. So total perimeter is thirteen point two plus two lots of this 8.59 and we end up with 30.4 centimeters correct to three significant figures and that's it hopefully you found this video useful if you do please don't forget to smash the like button hit the subscribe if you haven't already done so and feel free to leave some comments if you want any further help or if you want to question anything, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.